In this video, I will be showing you how to analyze data, survey data, by using Google Sheets. Let's go ahead and open, open Google Sheets now. Now, here we have a typical uh, spreadsheet with data. We have variables at the top. Those are the labels at the top. And then we have data starting on row two all the way down. Now, I usually like to start by adding a few labels right under that first column. The first column that is labeled uh, number, okay? That is the number, of, uh, the number of the participant. So number one would be the data for the first participant that filled out the survey, whose survey data was entered. And then number two, three, and if you scroll all the way down, you can see we have 53 total participants. Right, up, right after that last number, I am going to enter the word mean. Now mean is just a fancy way of saying average. Psychologists like to use the word mean. So do statisticians, but it just means the average. So I've entered the word mean there and then I'll hit return. And you can see that the word mean appears there. And right under the word mean, I'm going to enter the abbreviation SD. Now SD stands for standard deviation. And that is just a measure of the spread that is in the data. So I'm going to show you how, how to calculate the mean and standard deviation. So I have labeled them there for you. Now, notice that the uh, second column there that is labeled as OER with a question mark has yes and no underneath it. It has yes and no data. It ha basically has words. Now we cannot calculate the mean and standard deviation for those because it would not make any sense. Okay, you can only calculate the mean and standard deviation for numerical data, not for data that is nominal, data that is in word only, in name only. So we're gonna actually go to the third column and we're gonna calculate the mean and standard deviation for the data under that third column, which would actually correspond to the second question on the survey, all the data for that second question. Okay, so let's select the cell where we want to put uh, the mean, and I'll select that one. So right across from the word mean, under the third column, under all that data, is where I'm going to put that mean, that average. So I've selected the cell there. Now let's, if you look down, you'll see the little box that says FX. Let's click on that, and that'll take you to this screen right here. And now look for the word statistical. Click on it, and now look for the word average. There it is. Click on that, and now we, now we can just select the data that we want to calculate the average for. So you can start at the bottom or at the top. I'm going to start at the bottom because we can already see the bottom uh, of the data there. So I will click on the last um, data point there, and I will then drag all the way up until I have selected all the numbers under that column. They should all be numbers or it's not gonna work. Be careful not to select the label at the top. Um, those are letters, it will not work. If you select that, you'll get an error message. So I've selected all that data there. It is column C, if you can see there, column C, uh, row two, and it goes all the way to column C, row 54. So let's go ahead and hit return. And if we scroll to the bottom, we will see the average of 4.64 under all that data across from mean. And remember, mean just means the average. So our mean or average is 4.64. Now right underneath that, we're going to put our standard deviation. So we'll do something similar. We've already selected the cell. Let's click on FX. And again, let's look for the word statistical. And now we're going to look for standard deviation. It's going to be near the bottom since this is organized in alphabetical order. And there it is, standard dev, STDEV is the abbreviation. Let's click on that one. And now let's select the data that we want the standard deviation for. So again, I'm going to start at the bottom, click.
click on that last cell. Looks like I've messed up. So let's uh, start again. Let's again, uh, let's clear that. And this will happen from time to time. Let's click on the cell again and let's click on FX. Let's go to statistical. And now let's find standard deviation again. There it is. Let's click on it. Now let's, let's select the data. And it appears that I have messed up again. If you click on the wrong spot to begin with, um, and then you try to start again from the bottom, you'll see something like this looks red and it's not gonna work. So we have to delete that again. And I know I'm making mistakes, but this will happen to you. So it's good that you know how to deal with it. So again, let's click on FX, statistical, Standard deviation, and let's see if we can get it right this time. Nope. Okay, delete that again. Okay, click on FX. Statistical. Standard deviation. There it is, let's select the data. Drag it all the way up. There's the data, hit return. And there it is. There's the standard deviation for the data in that column. Remember the standard deviation is a measure of spread. Now, any data that is numerical, we can calculate a mean and a standard deviation for. So we can calculate the mean going across for all of those variables there, all of those columns, and the standard deviation. Anything that's a number, like for uh, anything that is actually uh, letters and words, we cannot calculate a mean and standard deviation. So for sex, which is F and M that we have there, we cannot calculate a mean and standard deviation for that. For race, we can't do that either. We can do it for age. Age is a number, okay? And um, let's do it for age really quick, just so you know. So let's select the uh, cell right under age, and that's where the mean would be. Let's click on FX, click statistical, click average, and now let's select all the data going up until we have the last one, but not the label. Let's hit return. And if you scroll down, you will see that the average age is 23.17. Underneath that, we can calculate the standard deviation. So let's go to FX, click on statistical, find standard deviation abbreviated as STDEV, there it is, and now click on that last column at the bottom, we did that wrong, so again I have to fix that. Uh, it can be hard to click on this if you're using an iPad because the cells are small. So again we'll start again, click on FX, statistical, standard deviation. Now select the data carefully. Now drag it, drag it going up until we select the last number, but don't select the label. Hit return. And if you scroll down, you'll see that the standard deviation for age is 7.22 if we round off. So we can compute the mean and standard deviation using Google Sheets for anything that is numerical. And that is how you do it. 
In my next video, I will be showing you how to calculate uh, t-tests, how to do correlations. That's all for now.